No green screen, no problem. Stick around to find out how. Hi everyone and welcome back, hope you're all well. Um, so, I feel like me and still a, a bit of a novice to the whole YouTube thing or, or, or the streaming or whatever, you'll be looking to take advantage of any software, especially free software you can get your hands on. So today I thought I'd run you through NVIDIA Broadcast, show you what it can do and how it can make your stream and your YouTube videos look better. The next thing you want to do is head over to nvidia.com and download the NVIDIA Broadcast app. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. Simply click your button, let it download and install it as normal. As once as it's installed, open it up. As once as it opens up, you should see a window like this. Uh, by default, it will start on microphone. For me, I'm using my Fifine microphone. So I've got that selected. We head over to camera. I'm using my Elgato face cam, which is sitting on the top of one of my monitors. It's just a case of picking the drop down box and selecting whatever camera you've got set up on your system, whether it's a webcam or maybe you've got an, um, an SLR or something like that, or a, a mirrorless camera. But for me, it's the Elgato face cam. And that gives you all the different options of the, the resolutions the camera can handle. So basically, you want the best quality you can get. So for me, it's 1920 by 1080p at 60 frames per second, keeps it nice and smooth. As you can see, there's no kind of blurring or anything with a Silgato camera, which is great. And this is a fun bit, this is where you can start adding effects. Um, so, what you can do is turn on a background replacement. Silly pictures you can put in the background, flying a plane, or we can have you as a member of uh, Queen, or... Have you inside the cockpit of a an X-wing? You can have a R two D two behind you. All sorts of daft pictures you can have on the bridge of the Starship Enterprise as well. If you're a, a geek like me, other options you can do is a background blur, which is a really nice nice effect. Um, that's the kind of effect you would get if you did have a proper expensive DSLR camera or mirrorless camera with the, the nice lens, um, and you can actually change the the strength of that. You can change how, how blurry you want it to be, which is really good, gives you that bokeh effect. Um, and again, you can select between performance and quality. Obviously, I would always go for quality, you want it looking the best it can be. Um, what else have we got? We have background removal altogether. Now, I'll show you how that works later on. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can actually use this app in things like OBS, um, Zoom, whatever. Um, whatever you can use your camera as a as a function in, I can, I can show you how to bring that in. Um, auto frame, now that's quite a good thing as well. Zooms in a little bit, um, but what you can do is if you if you move anywhere, the camera actually follows you, which is quite good. So you're maybe you maybe showing things off, and you're you're moving a product about or something like that, and you want to be kept in camera. It's it's, it's a great great um, function for that. Um, video noise removal, I suppose that all comes down to the quality of your camera. It doesn't make any great difference to, to what I've got on my screen at the moment, but um, I dare say if you've got a kind of kind of cheaper webcam perhaps, it would, it would help out big time there. What you can also do is you can add in other effects, you can double up on the effects, so you can put a back, background blur on, and then you can add another effect, um, and this time you can choose the, the auto frame and turn that on as well. You can play with the zoom, um, we can zoom it right out, um, and again if you move, it sticks with you and still has a black background blur in the background as well, which is, which is ideal, it's great. Um, what else does this have? It also has a microphone function as well, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Um, another great thing to use if you're streaming or you're making videos, it cuts out a lot of the background noise or keyboard noise or whatever, but I'll show you that later on. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how to bring your camera into OBS. So as once as you're in OBS, you can just do the usual things that you do, uh, go down the bottom, click your little plus sign, you would add in a, a video capture device, for me, I have one set up at the moment, which is the Elgato Facecam. 
it's basically choose a device you would choose um, camera and the video broadcast so you can get to use those effects simple as that and uh, I've got it turned off at the moment but there you go I've got it turned on for you so I'll just kind of show you what this would look like you can maybe have a game running or something you're recording a game or you're making a video of some sort and you're, you're showing off a product with a web page in the background or something like that you can then turn off the actual um, background replacement um, sorry the background removal option um, which I'll show you just here background removal we'll turn this effect off because you don't need the auto frame it should zoom out again and there you have it it's a it's a pretty good green screen effect without using a green screen um, I think it I think it looks great you could probably use that as I say as recording your video games or when you're streaming and stuff like that um, so that's that's that simple enough of course as once as you have it in OBS you can you can do what you want with it you can make the you can make it bigger smaller whatever you want to do to, to suit your stream or suit your video so I, th I think it's a superb great little app um, and what we'll do now is I'll jump over and show you the uh, the new features you get with a microphone as well what we'll do now is just jump back over to the app and I'll quickly show you some of the other settings that's under the, the microphone tab um, so top options basically your microphone most webcams have got a microphone built in um, if not you might have your, your own camera set up um, my webcam doesn't have a, a, a microphone built in so I'm actually using my fi fine, fi fine microphone which is roughly 30 centimeters away from me here um, and what I normally do is you turn the noise removal on um, basically it kind of drowns out the sounds of like, the keys getting bashed if you're playing a game or something and it's quite horrible noise when you hear somebody smashing their keys away or somebody might have a, a really loud PC your fans might be ramped right up or just, just general background noise in your house it's really good for drawing in that out so you can turn that on you can um, change the strength of it to, to whatever you like whatever suits yourself the other option underneath that is the, the room echo feature um, you may be set up in a big large empty room with no sound panelling uh, or sound dampening pads whatever you want to call them on the walls um, this actually works really well as well for that I'm, I'm fortunate enough I'm set up in a kind of small bedroom and yeah, my bed actually acts as a, a sound dampener the, the duvet covers and the pillows and stuff like that actually help believe it or not so I don't ever really need to turn it on but another another good feature anyway of NVIDIA Broadcast and it's there for you to use as you please um, under this tab we also have speakers got to be honest with you I've not even played about with this because most of the times if, if I'm ever playing the PC I've, I've got my headset on um, so uh, personally for myself I don't find that would that would be of any use but it could be could be useful for you guys something worth looking at uh, oh and the last thing is uh, over at settings here if you're wanting NVIDIA broadcast to start up every time your PC is booted up a little tick box there and tick that and that does a trick for you it'll, it'll fire up every time you log on and that's that there you go guys that was a quick overview of NVIDIA broadcast um, I hope, hope you found it interesting and useful and hopefully some of you guys actually get use out of this app as I say you can't can't grumble at a free app if it helps novice guys like myself create better YouTube videos or for guys who are maybe just starting the stream to make their stream look a bit better but well worth a download and hopefully some of you guys try it out and you actually enjoy it so that's another one over um, hope you've enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and subscribe as always if not again a dislike and any comments you guys feel that I can do to make, uh, make my videos better going forward see you again soon bye